Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit of a interesting one, I think. I think it's going to be a little bit of an interesting one because I have a mascara hoarding problem and we're going through my mascara bin because there's got to be things that we've got to get rid of. This is what it looks like right now. As you can see, it is overflowing. Oh, I can't even pick it up. I just dropped two, three. And my problem is that I find mascara, like I love, let's see, I don't even know what my problem is. I just think that I could use them all and I don't ever use most of them. So I think I'm going to have to separate them in like ones that I'm going to keep, ones that are probably too old and we've got to throw away, and ones that I can like give to friends and family. Um, I've used most of them, so there's not going to be mascaras that I can donate because it wouldn't be sanitary to donate mascaras that I've used. But I feel like, you know, friends and family, like, they'll take them. <laughs> we just have to go through this and see what's good and what's not good and what we have to like give away to people i'm very picky about my mascara and so that's why i always reach for the same like same few and i have a whole bin of them and then they're just sitting here getting old for no reason they're not letting my drawer open up correctly we've got to do something about it so that's what this video is going to be about i hope you guys like this video if you do don't forget before you leave give it a thumbs up and if you're new here, my name is Patty, and I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. Um, so let's go ahead and start going through this. I am very nervous because I feel like I still want to keep them all, but I can't. So we'll see. Let's go ahead and get started. If you guys are new to my channel, I have done other videos where I declutter things. So um, I think the most recent one I did was when I decluttered my primers and foundations, which by the way, the drawer is already overflowing again, but that's... A topic for another video um right now we're focusing on mascaras oh at the end of this video i did organize my drawer where i have like my powders and blushes and bronzers and i did get rid of quite a few things earlier today so i'll like show you what that drawer looks like now and the things that i got rid of just as an extra if you guys are interested that's going to be at the end of this video so I'll link that primer and foundation video up here um, so you guys can check it out if you're interested. I think it'll be linked up here actually so you guys check it out. Um, let's go ahead and start going through this. By the way I look very basic today because I've been at home all day kind of cleaning things up. If you hear a background noise I am doing laundry and I had a migraine for like most of the day because of like stomach issues. Um, I'm dumb. I ate like bad food at night um so i've been dealing with stomach issues for like two days now and it always gives me a really bad migraine i'm over it now i think at least for a few hours i've been over it um and my head does not hurt anymore so we're good and i can film and we'll see how much we can get rid of oh my god this has been so long let's just get started so let's start by things that i'm definitely keeping these two right here, this is the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. I'm pretty sure this is not the only one of these I have, but this one is a brand new tube. I haven't opened it yet because I love this mascara, and I'm still, or I was still, getting through my other tube that should be somewhere in there, so I'm keeping this one. Um, I do love the Roller Lash Mascara because it gives me length and separation. Um, this right here is the Tarte um, Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. This was like their limited edition like mermaid packaging. I have not used this mascara in a very, very long time. I remember years and years ago, I got a 100 point perk of this one from Sephora. And I remember I loved it, but I haven't used it in so long. Um, this is a brand new tube, so I will open it up soon and see if I still love it. But for right now, we are keeping this one. I have a couple of other ones that I haven't used yet. Um, this is my favorite mascara ever. This is the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. This is a 100 point perk of it because I love it and I can't live without it and I figured I would get a few of these when we had it for 100 points so that I could have back stock of it because apparently I don't think I have enough mascara. Like, Anyways, we're keeping this one. I feel like we're keeping everything. <sighs> This is the Better Than Sex Mascara. This is a travel size of it. I was given this one and I was keeping it around because I didn't have any other waterproof mascara, but I do now, so I am going to give this little one away to somebody else. The Shock Mascara by YSL. It's in my top two favorite mascaras. I love this one, so we're definitely keeping it. I have used this one a few times, um, so this is in my 
current rotation definitely keeping it pericon md mascara here that i wore it like right now three minutes ago for the first time and i did like the results sort of kind of i know this one has um like vitamins in it or something that makes your lashes stronger i'm going to use it for a little longer and see what i think of it first impressions is an okay mascara um, so I'm keeping it. Oh, I hate myself so much right now. This is not even mascara that shouldn't be here So we're going to put it away. It's actually a brow Products. Oh, I just opened my drawer and I saw another one Another one of the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noirs that are unused. I have a problem Another mascara here. This is the Lights Camera Lashes Mascara um, but this one's a double-sided one because in here it has Fibers, so you can kind of like add the fibers and build it up. I was really into this a few years ago, which makes me think this is really too old to keep. So this is going in the trash because I remember I was using this one and I actually bought it um, about oh my god, it's like two and a half years ago, I think. Definitely not going to use this one anymore. It's got to go in the trash. So that's going to go bye bye. That's embarrassing. Let's see. Dior, Dior Show Extas, Dior Show Extas mascara, I guess. Um, I don't think I've ever used it. It doesn't look old because it's still creamy. I don't know if I should keep it or give it. I'm going to give it away. Let it go, Patricia. You're not going to use it. I have two mascara primers, a Dior one and a Tarte one. I love the Dior one. I'm going to keep the Dior one for sure. I don't know what to do with this tart one. I think I'll give it away to like friends and family. So I'll put it in this bin because I don't need to. I don't even use them. This is another tinted mascara primer. This one's from Benefit. I know this one's newer. It is brown. Uh, what do I do? I have a problem. I can't let go of things. <sighs> I think I'm going to keep it because I feel like I need to try it because I just used it like once. Um, so I'm keeping it and if I don't think I'll use it more, I will give it to friends and family, but this is like a to be decided later because I can get rid of it right now, okay? Don't touch me. Okay, I have two mascaras from YSL right here. This one is like a year old, but it's my only blue mascara. Um, and you know, in case, actually I have another one, but it will be my only blue mascara. So I am keeping it um, just in case I ever want blue lashes because why not? Summer's coming, the blue lashes are in. And then I have a black version of it. I did try this one once. I'm going to give it away to like friends and family. I did not love the, vol the way my lashes looked with this one. So maybe somebody else has different lashes than the ones that I have that will enjoy this one. So I'll put it in my friends and family little part. Everybody has different lashes, so what works for me might not work for everybody. People who have shorter lashes tend to like mascaras that I don't like. I have longer but thinner lashes, so they tend to clump together, so my mascaras have to have like a lot of separation. So, you know, the fact that I'm putting this in and like giving it away to friends and family bin doesn't mean it's bad mascara, it just means it hasn't worked for me personally. Remember when I said I had another blue mascara? It was this right here, this is the Great Lash. By Maybelline I didn't think this did anything to my lashes I didn't like it um, but again it might be good for somebody else who might want a blue mascara so I'm giving putting it in the friends and family bin <laughs> okay let's talk about Urban Decay I have two mascaras from Urban Decay I have the Urban Decay perversion mascara and the troublemaker mascara I love the perversion mascara so I'll keep that one the troublemaker mascara I tried it a couple times and it's a bit pinchy i don't love the applicator so i'm giving it away to friends and family and see if somebody else enjoys it more than me then i have these here from Too faced these are like mascara melters i have another one of these in my bathroom that i'm currently using i do use this to take my mascara off especially if it's mascara that tends to be a little bit harder to take off like the YSL, the Shock Mascara, I don't love taking it off just with wipes or with a face cleanser because it doesn't come off all the way. Um, so I use my mas mascara melter for that. So I'm keeping these two because I do use them. Let's keep moving. This here, I just have this in my bin out of pure love uh, because it's completely empty, dried out. I used it to death. I think this was my mascara for like 
six months which you're not supposed to even use mascara for that long but it lasted that long and I loved it for I loved it so much so I kept it but it's completely dried out and empty so it's time to get rid of it see I, I have a problem I don't, what was this doing here I stopped using this like a year ago and it was I just had an empty tube I just love this mascara this gives you length and separation and it lasts throughout the day I think it smudges a little bit but that's not something that bothers me I literally just go and it's gone because on me the mascara normally transfers up here so keeping this up uh, keeping this one see I want to keep it so <laughs> I'm throwing this one away it is completely empty but I loved it with that said I do have two little ones of it right here <laughs> I have a problem oh my god um these are this one I've used for sure this was completely new this was completely new this one I've used um, a few times I think it's still good I'm keeping both of them I love this mascara I think we're doing good like I'm getting rid of some stuff I honestly um, had a fear of making this video because I thought I was gonna keep every single thing truth that's that's the tea right there um, this is the lash craft big volume mascara by Sephora collection I love the wand on this one. It has the hourglass one that I love. Um, I really like this mascara. I've had it since like a week or two only. I'm definitely going to keep using it. I've been liking it. I have a big tube right here of my favorite thing in the world, the Marc Jacobs um, Velvet Noir Mascara. Obviously, I'm keeping this. It's still nice and fresh and it's got a lot of product in it. Remember when I said I was getting rid of that? one or i was giving away this one waterproof one because i had one other one well i have two other ones i have the monzio big mascara this is the waterproof version i do like the regular one of this so i want to try the waterproof version and i didn't know i had the better than sex in the waterproof as well this tube looks absolutely brand new i have not used it I think I'm going to keep them both because I want to try them. Okay, the, next I have the Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. I know I used this one for a good like week and a half, two weeks. It does the same exact thing as the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara where it gets clumpy really fast. I don't know if I have to throw this one away or give it away to somebody. So I will try it one more time to see if I'm going to give it away or put it um, or just throw it away because I'm not sure if it's still good to use. So I think, actually, I think I made that video more than six months ago. I'm going to put it in the trash bin. Okay, this is another one I know for sure that I want to keep. This is the Bad Gal Bang Mascara by Benefit. And this is not my favorite mascara by any means, but it is the fastest mascara you could ever apply. You just go like one, two, three, and you have your lashes on. So I am keeping it because when I'm in a rush to go to work, this is the mascara that I reach for because nobody wants to work to go to work with like no lashes. And this is the fastest application. I use it all the time for that reason. So like if I'm getting ready to go to work and I have time, I'll use any other mascara. But if I'm in a rush, this is a lifesaver. This bin is endless. I still have all of those to go through. Okay. This Estee Lauder mascara um, is okay. I've had it forever. It's going in the trash bin. This is my other roller lash that I told you guys I had. Um, and it still has some mascara in it. So that's why I'm not opening the new one. I am keeping it. We have the Dior Pump and Volume. The one that you squeeze. Um, I know I used this one a couple times to try it. I don't like the wand. It makes my lashes clump together really badly. It's not bad. So I'm putting it on my giving away to friends and family. Ben. Then I have this NARS mascara here. I remember using this one for a while and it was quite pinchy. It's really old. I'm throwing it away. Let's see. I have a few little ones here to get through. Smashbox Lash Primer. This is a small one. I used it a couple of times. It's okay. I'm giving it away to friends and family. I don't need to give another primer. I've kept two. The Ciate Wonder Wand Mascara. It's a really good one. I'm going to keep this little one. It might come in handy. I have two of the little The Shock Mascara. <laughs> this again is one of my two my two top favorite mascara, so I am keeping it, um, keeping them. Okay, remember these here? So when I got these, I got more than two of them. I think I got like four or five. I gave two away, kept three. This is the third one here. Um, so this is the one that I have been using. I'm keeping it. <sighs> have a problem. Oh my God, I have another one. Um, 
Wait, this is not Velvet Noir. Okay, this is the Marc Jacobs Mascara Omega Lash Volumizing Mascara. I don't like this one half as much as the Velvet Noir. It's okay. I'm putting it in the friends and family bin because I don't love it as much and I'm already keeping a lot of mascara. Like I should get rid of all of what's here because I'm already keeping so much of it. This is the Hourglass Film Noir Mascara. I tried it. Ugh. Ew. No, this is going in the trash bin. Um, it's dry. Another Hourglass Film Noir. Also very dry. Also going in the trash bin. I don't know why those got dried. I don't think I used them. So... Did, did they give them to me old or do they just dry out? I'm wondering. Their Real Mascara by Benefit. Everybody loves this mascara except for me. I'm putting it in the friends and family little bin right there because I personally don't like it. It makes my lashes look clumpy. It doesn't do much for me. I'm going to give it away to somebody. This is the Grandiose Mascara by Lancome. I've had this for way too long. I think I used it recently and it was still good, but... I think I just throw it away because nobody should have mascara for more than one year. We'll say that's been more than one year and not two. Okay, Bare Minerals Lash Domination. Looks brand new. Looks like I just opened it for the first time. Oops. I don't think I've used it, but I don't think I want to keep it. I'm going to put it in the friends and family bin. Okay, I have two more Too Faced Better Than Sex mascaras because I'm keeping some oh this one was brand new this was a brand new mascara um, this one this one I've used this one's kind of dry okay I'm throwing away the little one it's dry this one I'm giving it away to friends and family it's a brand new tube I don't think I want to keep it because I just don't enjoy this mascara and so many people love it so much I think they should enjoy it right then we have Hypnose Drama Mascara by Lancome. I think this one's old or it looks like it's old because it's got like crusty things around the rim so I'm, I'm gonna throw it away. In the trash, gone forever, bye bye. Then we have the Smashbox X Rated Mascara. I tried this one like once. I'm going to keep it to give it another chance because I'm not sure how I feel about it, I forgot. So I'll keep it, I'll give it a second try, and then I will see if I give it away or not. So then I have the Monzio Big Mascara by Lancome. This is just their original one. I like it a lot. I'm going to keep it. The Big Tease Mascara by Buxom. This mascara was like super, like when they trained me on it, they said that it was so nice, so good. I tried it a couple times and I did think it was really nice. So I don't know why I don't reach for it that often, but I am going to keep it and give it more tries see how i feel about it then i have the super fan mascara i do not like this mascara this is a new mascara by smashbox i don't think it does that much to me like you have to build it a lot for it to look good at least on my lashes so i'm giving it away to someone because it's not my favorite this is the clinique high impact mascara i love this mascara it's kind of hard to take off at night but it is a really really good one i am keeping this one tardy's mascara this one is old and dry i use it a lot it's a little bit pinchy but it does give you great lashes am i keeping it mm, throwing it away literally don't know what to do with it it's either keeping it or throwing it away because i did use it quite a lot and I think it's kind of old, but I don't remember. See, and I always keep mascaras because my pros my thought process is once I get through these, I'll use my other ones, but I never get through them because then I just get given more. So it's old, I'm gonna throw it away. <sighs> okay, and then the L'Oreal Waterproof Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. It's it's still good. I'm going to keep it even though I've never reached for it. I don't love it for my top lashes, but it's great for my bottom lashes when I'm wearing falsies. Is that an excuse? Is that even an excuse? I don't know, but I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it, guys. Okay, so that was it. That's my bin. Let's clean it because, ew. All right, so let's see. To be honest with you, I'm kind of proud of myself because, as I said before, I literally hoard mascara. So the fact that I'm getting rid of an okay amount, I'm proud of myself for. And again, my, ugh, my thing is I feel like I, you know, once I get through what I've been using, 
I'll reach for it. We'll see how that goes. Um, I think what I'm going to do is like things that are in boxes that I know that I have multiples of, like my Marc Jacobs and my Stila. I'm going to put at the bottom so that I don't reach for them unless I've finished my other ones, right? Because that would make sense. More my other Marc Jacobs. I have issues. My shock mascaras by YSL. Lord help me. The little mm, mascara melt off things. Also putting it at the bottom. Let's see. Then I'm going to put this at the bottom because this is brand new and I'm waiting to finish my other one to use it. I think these were the ones that I said I would try and then decide. So I'll keep those out because I do want to try and decide. Um, so my homework for the next three days is to try each one of those mascaras and see if I'm going to give it away or keep it or throw it in the trash because I can't decide on those three because I don't remember if I like them or not basically. After putting those there I still have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen mascaras and two primers. I did not get rid of a lot but I can't get rid of the ones that I'm staring at so this is what we got to live with. I think, you know, we'll count um, how many we got rid of today and feel better about, our, about ourselves and our life decisions. I'm going to add the Pericone one to my to my homework mascaras because I'm not sure how I feel about that one. And everything else I am going to just toss in here because I like them. I'm keeping them. Okay, see like looking at this makes me proud of myself. I feel like I either threw away or got rid of like half my mascaras because this was way overflowing. Like this is a lot more manageable. I can put this away. My drawer is going to close. I had a lot of mascaras like over top of this. See, I am kind of proud of myself. I got rid of a lot. Um, and then this is what I'm going to give away to friends and family here. All of those and one more, hold on. All of these. So let's see, we have we have two primers and then three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven mascaras that I am giving away to other people that are going to enjoy it more. Eleven mascaras and two primers. And then I throw away quite a few. Should I count those two? Why not? Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten mascaras I throw away. So I'm very proud of me because those were old. They had no business in here. Let me know what you guys thought of this video, if you liked it, if you learned something new about any specific mascara brands. Uh, my top three, I'll give you my top three mascaras that I absolutely love. Um, I think number one has to be the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. I cannot shut up about that one. I really, really love it. Number two, I think, is the Shock Mascara by YSL. An amazing mascara love 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 that one it's a little bit hard to take off at night but it stays and it doesn't smudge and it doesn't crumble so i love it and my third favorite mascara would be the stila huge lashes mascara i absolutely love that one um the only thing about that one that bothers me a little bit is that it transfers but like i said um Normally my mascara transfers up here right before, um, underneath my brow and I can just like easily wipe it off but it gives me huge huge massive lashes and it only transfers towards the end of the day a little bit so it is my um, my third absolute favorite. Um, after that, I'm going to give you guys a fourth favorite just because I really am obsessed with this one too. The Roller Lash Mascara by Benefit is amazing, so I absolutely love that one too. So I guess those are my top four favorite mascaras. Um, there are a lot of other really good mascaras that I used so I couldn't get rid of, but my top four favorites, if I only could keep four mascaras in my entire collection, those four would be it. However, I don't have to do that, so I'm keeping way more than that. <laughs> These are all the mascaras right here that I'm giving away to friends and family. So I am proud of that. And it could be more because I have, let's see, let's count them again because I forgot. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I have 11 mascaras here that I'm giving away and two primers. But it could become 15 because I'm not sure still whether or not I will be keeping this. Um, These four that I left myself here for homework. I'm really glad this is over and I don't have to have anxiety over getting rid of things anymore because I feel really good about what I kept, what I'm giving away, and what I had to throw away. Um, I have no complaints about it. So let me show you guys what I got rid of, what else I got rid of today. 
that's not mascara related just because I said I would and this is not technically like decluttering because I kept a bunch of things in this drawer but this was another drawer that was driving me absolutely crazy I'm going to take a picture of what it looks like now all right so here it goes this is my drawer where I keep all my powders uh, bronzers blushes and like loose powders so the bin at the front has all of my like highlighters and blushes and bronzers that I don't use as often except the fancy ones those I do use often they just look cute there uh, the back bin has the loose powders that I'm not currently using and then where you don't see a bin those are the things that I reach for on a daily basis the powder could switch out I'm currently trying the Becca translucent powder right now um, but I also really like the Velvetizer and the Cover FX powder so those are kind of the ones that I keep in that rotation but I just couldn't keep them all out of the bin and then to the right of the picture you see my most used like bronzers, blushes and highlighters those are the ones that I reach for all the time and then like right after the loose powder there you see like my stick highlighter slash cream highlighter slash glitter highlighters that just don't really fit in the bins so I just kept them back there so this, trust me, looks a lot more manageable than what I had going on there before. And I didn't have to get rid of that many things to make it look where I like understand it. I've already like discovered new things from it. I'm currently using a cream bronzer by YSL that I didn't even remember I had there. And I actually really liked it. It was really easy to apply with a beauty blender. And I look basic AF today, but at least I don't look basic and pale. <laughs> um, so here's what I got rid of. I got rid of a little Guerlain loose powder. This loose powder is translucent, but it's too dark for me. I got rid of another translucent powder by Burn Minerals. It's like a mini size. Um, I've had it forever. I don't use it. Oh my god, I got rid of like mostly Burn Mineral stuff. Um, this another Burn Minerals thing that came out a couple years ago. Never reached for it. I used to use like this part to set my concealer a lot. But I have other things that I like better, so getting rid of that one. This is not even a powder product, but it's not my color and I've had it for a while. This is the Lancome Tints Idol Cushion. It's a really, really great product. This is way too light and way too pink for me and I've had it for a while, so I can't really get, give it to anybody. Um, I wish it was my color because it is a great product, but not my color, can't keep it. Then this is really old, guys. Um, I have a... NYC bronzer that was super worn anyways Maybelline stay powder whatever um, kind of old getting rid of it don't use it and then a uh, cover girl powder as well here not using it getting rid of it and then last but not least a bronzer that's way too dark for me this is from um, bare minerals I think I used it a couple times just daring, but it's very, very dark, so I never reach for it, so I'm getting rid of it. So all of this, things that I'm getting rid of, and it made that drawer so much better. I wish I had taken a before picture. It was an absolute disaster. That, like, now I can see what I have and use more of it rather than the hot mess I had before. The bins were organized differently. I couldn't really see anything in there anyways. It, it was a hot mess. So trust me, this is... A lot better and I feel like now I have the things that I reach for the most like on a daily basis I normally use the same bronzer blush and highlighter every day so now it's easily accessible for me there and I don't have to worry about putting it back in like the bin or whatever because I just have it out where I see it that is it I hope you guys enjoyed this video it was a little crazy I know I talked about mascara for way too long mascara is something I'm passionate about and like I feel like I can make any mascara work and that's why I held on to so many of them for such a long time time but it feels good to get rid of a few I feel like I kept too many to be honest I feel like I could have gotten rid of more but I don't want to so um, let me know in the comments down below what you think do you have a mascara hoarding problem like me or is it just me that does that I do obviously get a lot of this given to me at work for me to try so that I can know how they work and talk to clients about them and I'm super thankful for that. If you like this video, if you stuck to the end, please give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up really helped me out. Let me know if you want me to do more of these like decluttering types of videos. I really like watching them, so I hope you guys do too. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. 
I will link any type of other decluttering video that I can find in my channel down below or throughout the video so you guys can see them. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching one more time. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye! I was just texting my friend Marissa to see if she wanted my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascaras because I know she's used those in the past and I think she likes them. So I think I'll give those to her, like the waterproof version and the regular full size. And she told me that she's been using the Kush mascara and that she really liked it. And that got me thinking, where's my Kush mascara? Because I just did this whole video and I, it wasn't in my bin. So it was out of the bin. I did find it. Um, it's this one right here and I am keeping it. It's not in my top four favorites, but it is a really good mascara. The only thing that I don't like about this one is that I feel like I have to build it up for a while. Like it doesn't give me full lashes right away. And I feel like when I've worn it, I feel I've had um, fibers fall in my eye. So I'm going to keep trying it, give it more chances. I am keeping this one too. I wanted to let you know because that's one of the mascaras that I tried last and it wasn't in my video and I felt weird about it. So now you know. Bye-bye. <laughs>